Lawrence writes, Hey guys, last week I was lucky enough to attend a pre-screening of Triple Nine before all of the reviews broke out. I absolutely loved the movie and was discouraged when I noticed the score was rotten on Rotten Tomatoes. Do you all think that Rotten Tomatoes scores are a fairly accurate rating system to go by when choosing which ticket to buy every Friday? Or do you think the system is flawed? Personally, I feel that a 50% rating means the movie is mixed and that you could either love it or hate it. Not that the movie fails at doing its job. Just wanted to know your thoughts. Love the show. I think that's a great question to ask. And the first thing I'll say is that like, you should not rely on any, I don't care if it's an aggregator or a singular critic, you should not rely on them to tell you if you should go see a movie or not. It's a great thing to factor in, but if you want to see Triple Nine, you should go see Triple Nine. If you want to see Gods of Egypt and you see that big fat stinking 12% of Rotten Tomatoes, go see the movie. You can factor in what we say, but I never want to precede anything by saying, oh yeah, I'm going to tell you, or some website is going to tell you whether you're going to enjoy a movie or not. Go in there with an open mind and see See what comes out. I think you're going to find more often than not, you're going to agree with how they do it on Rotten Tomatoes because if it's at a 50%, you probably are going to like some of the movie, but most of it you're going to say was at least unlived up to potential. If a movie is very fresh on Rotten Tomatoes, you're probably going to really enjoy it. And if it's only at 12%, there's probably not a, peop a lot of people out there that are going to like that movie. Christian, we're both on Rotten Tomatoes. How do you see it? Well, it's funny though, too. A lot of people don't realize this is how it works, too. If, if you see something at like a 90 or an 85 5%. Does that mean that every one of those critics that loved the movie? No, it doesn't. What from if you go so Mark and I for when we score if we go 3 out of 5 schmoes. Decent movie, enough to get it fresh. Okay? But if we put that review on Rotten Tomatoes, it goes into the fresh. So even though we thought it was an okay movie, good enough, it goes into someone's like, oh, people think it's great. It doesn't work like that because there are certain reviews that I thought movie was fine, but I still not enough for me to say that it was rotten. So I'll put it in the fresh thing. Same thing with goes with a rotten movie. Like so might, there might be a movie that you see like uh, a 45% on something too. And I just, it was okay. Just something I saw a million times before I did two, two and a half out of five schmoes. And then that also gets put into the rotten. So people don't realize that they just see that, that 13% or that 80% and they just think good, bad there's so much more i would say go in and if there's a particular review that you see that maybe speaks to your type of thoughts or someone that you that you trust look at that person's review go through their kind of thought process as far as why they they scored it the way that they mm -hmm. did that's how you get more of an accurate thing going through the actual reviews don't just go off the score because right. it's not as black and white as it looks from the percentages snap you have an a on rotten tomatoes right now that's how do right. you see this uh, very happy. Um, but you know how I, how I see it, how I've used Rotten Tomatoes in the past is I'll see a number and I'll be like, okay, say it's 85 or say it's 45, one of the two. But if it's a film I'm interested in, I'll click on it and then I'll see all the different people who've put in their reviews and I'll, I'll, quick, I'll quick read them because usually they have about a paragraph that's available to read. And then I'll click in on ones that seem more interesting to me than other reviews. So it's like, I don't wanna read 40 reviews, but I'll, I might read six. If it's a film that I'm on the fence on, I might read all of the reviews, because I, then I wanna hear everybody's opinion, and that's how I kinda get my own personal roundup. Uh, I, I, never, I never look at audience uh, exit polls. That to me is like, you know, some people would love a film that I might hate, so I kind of know going into a film what I'm expecting. Even if the, somebody says, oh, that movie is horrible, I'm like, look, but I'm going to see it because it has these elements or it has this actor or it's directed by this person. So that's the way the reason I go to film. So it's different for everybody. I think. Yeah, I mean, I, I do love that you just go into like a movie like, and you know the Rotten Tomatoes score. I don't like reading other reviews before I see a movie. Luckily, I usually get to see them before they're released. So I have that advantage. But if I go in and I catch a Rotten Tomatoes score out of the corner of my eye, it is going it, to it, it's not going to affect how I feel about the movie. But it's like, oh, OK, most people are leaning this way i wonder if i'm going to be different but i'm always going to tell you i'm going to shoot you straight did you have another thing to add for rotten tomatoes christian no i did not hey guys if you like this clip click here to watch the entire episode also make sure you subscribe to our youtube channel because it'll help you stay up to date with all the stuff we've got going on here at collider